I have been driving for Uber for about a year and a half now. I teach middle school grades five through eight. During the school year, I'll Uber about one to two times a month. During the summer, I'm Ubering about 20 hours a week. As a rider, I've been in plenty of Ubers where that Uber driver has gone above and beyond to make their vehicle very friendly and comfortable and they have mints and water and their car is clean and things like that. I don't do any of those things. I imagine, however, if I were to do some of those things, I would get tips more. We're here in Trinova's Research and Development Lab with Steven, the Uber driver, because we asked him to help us out with an experiment. Can you remind me what your experience has been with tipping so far, driving for Uber? Yeah, so generally I get tipped about one out of every 10 rides that I do. Well, what we did is we interviewed 500 Uber drivers. There's been some surveys out there of Uber riders asking what makes you tip or what makes you more likely to tip. But we went the other route and asked the drivers what actually causes tipping. So we asked them a number of things. Do they wash their car? Do they use air fresheners? Do they have a charger? We came up with three or four variables that seem to really have an outsized impact on tipping. So we're out here with Steven. We've gone over the research and we're gonna work on the three main variables that are gonna increase tipping, which is hanging up a tip sign. We got one created here. Bottles of water, we got those from the store earlier. And then a quick interior cleaning. Our research shows that people who clean every time get more tips than people who clean once a week. Professional level detailing is not what we're aiming for here. We just want a nice clean car. All right, Steven, we've got right. your car cleaned. We're gonna send you out on the road for about a week. Your okay. only job is to get people there safely and don't be a jerk about it. I'll try my best. And when you come back, we're gonna take a look and compare the tips this week with all these best practices in place versus last week when you were just shooting from the hip. Right. Sounds good? Sounds good. All right, man, we'll hey, see you in about yeah. a week. Steven, welcome back. It's good to see Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you too. So I'm super curious, how did it go? It went great. So the week that I did not use best practices, I made $12. When I used the best practices you guys discovered, I made $40, which means that I almost tripled my tips and was on the road for less time. I'm curious, did anyone mention the sign or anything? No one acknowledged the sign. Okay, so it might be a more subconscious, you see the sign, exactly, and it kind of registers. Yeah. How did you treat the water? Did you just let people encounter it or did you offer it to them? Yeah, for most of the rides I just mentioned shortly after they got in the car and I only had two people take it. Did the people who took the water, did you check and see if they tipped you? Yeah, one of them did tip me after they took water. So is this something you think you're gonna keep up for the rest of the summer while you're driving? Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna keep that sign in my car and every time I drive, I'll put it in the back because why not, it got me more tips. So I wanna keep doing that. I think going from 12 to 40 bucks is not gonna let you retire to Fiji on Uber driving alone, but it's definitely more money and it's an easy way to get it. So it seems really obvious that the data that we found does work. So put a bottle of water in your car, make a little sign to encourage tipping and just make sure the interior is clean and you should be able to realize some gains in the tip department as you're driving.